Hello folks, welcome to another Run 8 Train Simulator video. We've got some new stuff today and a couple things to talk about. We got a patch or an update for the overall game or sim itself, which is update 8. Uh, on today, which is the 15th of June, you can tell they've been working on this for a while because this was actually posted on the 7th. It is now available. Of course, these updates are always free. You just click where it says click, download it, and install it, and you're good to go. Uh, it's got a couple of details as to what uh, is entailed within the, uh, the patch. Let's take a look at that real quick. So when you install the patch, you automatically get the change log, which pops up. Let me zoom in on this here. Uh, got quite a few things. A lot of it seems to be uh, route or map based. Uh, a lot of little fixes. Bakersfield, uh, Barstow, Cajon's got one. Mojave's got one. But the Roseville sub mainly uh, has quite a few fixes with some inoperable crossing gates, uh, some dwarf signals added to the, I think it says East End Yard Lead uh, in Roseville, a uh, bunch of other stuff. Incorrect signal link uh, on track two at 1266, or signal 1266, some smoothed out jagged terrain uh, just east of Colfax, uh, added the Amtrak station at Colfax on the dispatch screen as well. As a few other things, uh, there's quite a bit on here. I won't go over each and everything, but when you install it, this will pop up and you can take a look at it for yourself if you'd like. So usually it's a good day when you know there's a run eight patch or update incoming because there's generally some new DLC that's going to come along with it. That seems to be the trend anyway uh, as of late. But we now have Run 8 Mixed Freight Pack 4. And this is actually by uh, High Iron Simulations, the guy and guys that help make uh, the Fitzgerald sub, for example, or the CSXA line, uh, etc., etc. But this new pack contains quite a lot and from what little i've looked at it so far they look really damn nice so if you're familiar with the last pack which is this here run eight mixed freight pack three that had the uh the big nice box cars uh the corn syrup tanks lpg tanks um what else did it come with came with a few things those look fantastic it was kind of a new dawning for the way rail cars look within run eight and they look oh so so much better with the way they're done uh, within these packs. But this is the newer pack here, and it's just ten dollars. I pay ten dollars for this all day long, no bones about it. This pack looks really darn good. So you're going to get some uh, forty foot Ortners uh, in CSX, FEC, SP, and Conrail Qualita. Then you're going to get the uh, Raceland Rebuilt Ag Hoppers in uh, two CSX liveries and a T389 ACF uh, tank car in LPG ACFX white. Now we did get some of those in, I think the, uh, the standard of the black livery in the last pack here at pack three, but let's go ahead and fire up, uh, run eight and take a look at them in the flesh. So you're going to get quite a few things in this pack. This to me is kind of like the meat and potatoes of the pack, uh, uh for my personal taste. Anyway, these 40 foot ordners, which are very unique and uh, pretty easily recognize aggregate cars. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Florida East Coast, my, uh, my local hometown railroad, still uses them predominantly down south. But uh, I feel like I remember seeing a couple here recently on some of the odd uh, locals and rock trains and things like that. But you're going to get the FEC, which is on the right, CSX, which is the uh, black one there, uh, second from right, the Conrail Quality uh, in the white livery there, and then Southern Pacific on the far left. And there's quite a few places you'll be able to use these within Run 8, which is, of course, very nice. It's always nice to be able to have stuff you can place on certain regions and maps that make sense. And this is definitely one of those packs. Right here, we've got the T3, trying to say multiple things at one time, the T389 ACF tanker uh, for liquid propane and propane accessories. Uh, these, of course, are just like, uh, they're fairly similar to the black ones that we got in pack three. Uh, they're just white, uh, and they, act, they obviously have different uh, badging, branding, uh, the ACFX on there and all that good stuff. 
And last but not least, the Raceland Rebuilt uh, Ag Hoppers. Uh, for CSX, you're going to get two. You're going to get the white livery here and the black one there. And it's not just liveries. The, uh, the cars themselves are uh, different. Another cool little perk of the pack is, of course, a new ballast or rock or aggregate uh, texture. Now, this definitely looks predominantly southeast. I dare say even Florida from, from what I've seen and the little bit I know. Uh, it's definitely got that color. It's almost that white, you know, sugar sand look. And this is what you're going to get for all the fills, if I'm not mistaken, of all the open uh, ag hoppers here. But uh, I've placed down one of the old ones here next to it just to show what the old fill looks like versus the new fill. And uh, with stuff like this, it just shows that Run 8 is not dead. It's not dying. It's still going places. And with these recent packs like this, such as, you know, the mixed freight packs and, of course, just the Fitzgerald sub and the, the friggin' Roseville sub that came out in the last uh eight to ten months or whatnot stuff's changing stuff's getting better stuff's getting a little bit more detailed which is always nice So we'll start with these. These are the uh, what they're labeled as when you purchase them, the Raceland Rebuilt uh, Aggregate Hoppers. Two for CSX, of course, the white and the black. Uh, they're H9 hoppers. Uh, Raceland is, or was, I think some of it still, is in Kentucky, and it was a rebuild shop. They re rebuild cars, uh, you know, to not only repair things, but just to make them last a long time. This equipment is not cheap, uh, but... I believe the shop that was in Kentucky was sold uh, to Progress Rail in, I want to say, like the mid-early 2000s. Uh, but you'll still see some around, I'm almost certain. Uh, but the shop is no longer there. But here we have the white and the black. So there's two different variants here, which is nice. We'll just take a peek. You can actually see the porches on uh, either end are actually different. This is kind of like a... Uh, 
uh geez what's it what's it called like a like a skeleton deal like a exo armor if you will around the outside of that bit and then this one here does not have it it's just kind of open there and uh they look good so the guy that made these um mr high rail simulations himself has been using you know a new way to texture uh rail cars and other various things and it is a absolute game changer with the way this stuff looks i mean this stuff looks fantastic to some of the compared to some of the older run a cars it is literally night and day oil and water wine and mountain dew i don't know i don't know where i came up with that one but they look really damn good especially this black one here it's not just black these things have been just beat to shit sitting in the sun baking over time they just look amazing with all the different kind of you know brushes and colorings in there of uh, different types of corrosiveness for whatever these things carry you know generally uh ballast any kind of aggregate i think some of them haul coke um i know down in like uh you know west central florida they generally have particular hoppers that are special built for coke cars uh but all kinds of stuff like that any kind of accurate ag aggregate accurate aggregate really but uh yeah they look very very nice the lettering of course and all the font and everything looks legit too they're just some good looking cars the wheels themselves look very nice and the trucks you got all your tear weights on there got the little dumpers down here three of them per car csxt the handbrake back there the reservoir for the brake got the extra little decals like this see this is some of the stuff that you used to not see in uh, a lot of the run eight stuff as these these older um you know decals that you see on various rail cars and they're starting to pop up now within the last two packs and uh people that actually mod the stuff as well and uh i do like the logo here these older logos those look very spicy and then this is the uh the black one here which these just look super good i don't know much else to say about them uh the frame itself looks very nice they're just really really good looking cars just take a little walk around here yeah it's a new era i can't wait to see what else comes along for run eight uh with rolling stock I know there's some box cars in the works that have been teased a couple of times, and I'm geeked for that because uh, I love me some box cars, like like most you know foamers. But uh, it's got two different kinds of uh, laddering or railing there, as you can see. Get more of a grab on those, but those look really friggin' spicy, and they'll fit on just about every train, especially in the southeast. Over oh, here, we've got the liquefied petroleum gas uh, tanker. Geez, I don't know what these haul. It might say the capacity. 21,000. I thought these were bigger than that. These are the slightly shorter ones. I was, I was thinking they were like 30-something thousand, like 30,000 30, gallons. Trying to read those numbers on there. But again, the model itself looks very nice. That handbrake looks very sharp and spicy. The weathering as well. You know, it's a, it's a painted white car. It's, you know when it comes to just solid colors in in simulators and train sims it doesn't always look the best so it's always nice to have a bit of weathering whether or not you're going for something totally fresh or weathered at all when it's just one flat solid color it never looks good that is not the case with this this looks very good you can see all kinds of crap and weathering and just darkness going on around the bottom there and it looks very nice i'm sure you can put some placards on there as well if you would like Let's see, we've got the uh, reflector strips on there. Chemical emergency, call 800-424-9300. I'm sure that's Jason at High Rail Simulations' personal telephone if you'd like to call him and let him know how well he's doing. Uh, I'm kidding, that's probably not his number. I, I would hope not anyway. But yeah, these cars look good. I think we had the black variant of these cars uh, in the last pack. So it's a nice little kind of bonus in this aggregate hopper pack. So Dems is the tanks. 
And these are the Ortners. Now, these are pretty cool to me, very unique. Uh, they were seen a lot back in the day in, in Roseville, uh, over on the end of Donner Pass, if you will, uh, Northern California. Uh, there might still be a few kicking around there. I'm not totally sure. I do know they were used there uh, fairly heavily. And then, of course, FEC did use the bejesus out of them. They still do, although they do not look like this anymore, the ones that I've seen anyway. But uh, the, uh, the bubbling... On the paint, the uh, the stressing and indentions on the side of the the metal there. Oh my God, that looks so freaking good. That looks so so good. It's got it on every car with a different look, of course. And these things were tough. Um, what were they? Hundred ton. They got the three dumpers on the bottom. Very unique car. You know right away when you see one of these. So this is the CSX variant again with the ease up. Uh, sticker on there. A CSX quality car. See what else we got on here. All kinds of little goodies, numbers, serials, yada yada. Nice looking car. So that's a CSX one there. Man, the weathering. Just I. It, I really am speechless sometimes because I'm thinking, you know, this is run eight and I'm thinking run eight doesn't normally look like this. This is not run eight, but it is. It's uh, it's it's quite literally a, a new phase, if you will. Conrail quality. Of course, you can see these kicking around. Of course, you could use them up in the northeast uh, on Selkirk uh, or hell anywhere, really southeast. It wouldn't be totally surprising to see some of these. Got some nice weathering all down as well. Conrail. Uh, yeah, it's the newer quality logo there. It's a nice looking font, that tank on the back. Yeah, these are some very, very nice looking cars. And then my personal favorite, because I am a Florida man and I like FEC stuff, because it's really the only thing I see where I live, being kind of cut off from the rest of Florida and the rail network. These FEC hoppers, they did use these quite a bit. Like I said, I think they still use them to this day, predominantly down in the south, uh, south Florida, up north of Miami, basically. Uh, the ones that I have seen don't look like this any longer, uh, but this pack isn't aimed to be a specific age period, I don't believe. Uh, it's just a cool-looking car, plus it's got this, this scary-looking logo. Don't make crossings deadly. Look, listen, live. Yeah, that's on there because people in South Florida are pretty dumb when it comes to crossing, uh, you know, level crossings and trains hit stuff all the time down there. It's absolutely insane. So that, of course, is on there for that very reason. But, man, these suckers look good. Loads of weathering on the bottom as well. And it doesn't exactly look one-to-one. -one. Um, it kind of looks like the same kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it, like stencil one on each um, end. But they all have like a different look to them. We'll get up in the err. This new aggregate detail looks extremely good as well. So this is bump mapping, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, something with normals, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not that in, in tuned and technical when it comes to that kind of stuff. I just, I hear these, you know, these buzzwords within the, uh, you know, the, the, the people that do this kind of stuff. And that's what it is. That's why they look so good. That's why they look so different. This is one of the empty ones here. And again, it's not just a black empty car. Um, you know, there's, there's corrosion down in there and they look very sharp. There's a southern sup utak hefi rink. So yeah, that is the pack, guys. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new cars, technically, while some of them are uh, repaints. But it's quite a few within the pack, and of course, you've got the big patch that came out as well. As always, I'll link down below where you can go and find these. And uh, I will certainly be running these every bit of worth of $10. Cannot, absolutely cannot wait to see what comes next.
I want those boxcars. That's it, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care out there.